Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In today's video, we're going to be looking at this, which is the Air Step Cat Edition or the Katana Edition. Now, this thing is incredible. It completely opens up what you can do on a Boss Katana. Now, say that you've got a Katana 50. Now, the 50 doesn't have an input into it, so you can control it via the GAFC foot controller. With the Airstep Cat Edition, you can control your Katana 50 by using the USB connection in between the Airstep Cat and your Katana 50. So not only can you use it like a GAFC foot controller, but it's got one feature which I'm going to show at the end of this video, which I think is a complete game changer for Katana owners. First of all, let's have a quick look at the channel control mode. Now, if you've got a Katana 100, like I'm using here, you can switch between the eight different presets on your Katana, or if you have a Katana 50, you can switch between the four presets that you have on the 50. So as you can see, I'm on patch one. I can switch to patch two. Three. And four. As my Katana 100 has two banks of four, if I do a long press, I can switch up to my bank B. And then by long pressing again, I can go back to my first bank. If I push this button here, now we switch into the effects mode. So I can turn on and off all of my effects by using the Air Step Cat. So if I long press on button five, I can switch my reverb on. If I switch on button four, I can turn my delay on. And as you can see, it's blinking. So we can also control the tap tempo of the delay just by tapping on that button as well. Next, I can switch on and off my effects block by pushing button three. My modulation block is on button two. And on button one, I can control my booster. And again, you GAFC Katana 100 users are probably thinking, well, I can do all that with my GAFC. Well, here is where things start to get clever with the Airstep Cat Edition. Now, what I can do, if I long press any of these effects buttons, I can now change the stored effects that you've set up inside of Boss Tone Studio. So for instance, on button one, as you can see on the Katana, I've got it on the green mode. Green mode for me, I've set it up as a blues driver. If I hold down this button, you can see that it changes to red. So now I've got an overdrive pedal. If I push it again, it changes to yellow. And I've got my distortion effect, but let's switch it back to the blues driver. This functionality works over the booster, the mod and the effect settings. So for instance, if I switch back on button two, which is gonna be my modulation, and I hold it down, as you can see, the katana's turned yellow.
and on button three, which is the effect slot, you can hear that I've got a tremolo. If I hold it down, it changes to red. I've got like an auto filter. And in the yellow setting, I've got an octave effect. So that's already given us more functionality than the GAFC foot controller. Now, the piece de resistance for me is the fact that now, because we're connected via USB from the Airstep Cat into the Boss Katana, we can now use the Katana Air Boss Tone Studio to control all of the parameters on the Boss Katana. So that means if you're at a gig and you wanna deep dive into the Katana, you've no longer got to take around a laptop with you. You can do all of your editing on Boss Tone Studio from your phone or from your tablet. To me, this is a complete game changer for Katana users, especially Katana 50 owners who didn't have the access of a GAFC. You can now plug in via USB the Airstep Katana Edition straight into the back of your Katana 50 or any Katana and then have complete access over all of your patches. So not only does it do all that, but it's actually cheaper than the Boss GAFC. So you can buy the Airstep Cat Edition for $99 while the Bosch GAFC, I think it, at the moment is about $150. This unit is also plug and play, so you just literally have to plug in a USB out of the air step, straight into the back of your Katana, and you're good to go. Anyway, I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.